I don't know how the angle is now, because I don't want to touch my camera anymore. I hadn't been expecting it to just drop like that when I turned it on. But another day, another book writing vlog. I think at this point these book writing vlogs are just an excuse for me to like kind of vent. These are kind of like normal vlogs, but I'm just going to keep calling them book writing vlogs because they do have to do with writing book. I don't know how long this particular clip is going to go on for because the pest guy is coming because we have a squirrel problem, but that's another uh, story for a different day and my mom's not home right now and I might have to be the one to let him in if he ends up coming over while she's gone. That's fun. Uh, I'm not wearing my glasses this time because I just edited episode 2 of this vlog and the ring light kept reflecting horribly in my glasses lens. So yeah, also it seems super super bright to me right now because I kind of have a headache. So that's fun. Uh, I finished the first season of The Walking Dead last night. Uh, what's today? Today is the 29th because yesterday was my birthday. Shit, I'm 19. Oh god, no. Uh, I have one more chapter to write in one fanfiction series uh, because I wrote two... I, st I finished one yesterday and then last night I ended up staying up until like almost 1.30 in the morning writing another one because the moment hit me and I had to run with it. So... That was fun. That's probably why I woke up with a headache this morning that left me unable to walk on the treadmill. So that's great. Uh, but I started Walking Dead Season 2 while I ate lunch. Uh, yesterday I got... Not yesterday, over the course of the weekend I got all the videos I needed to... All the con vlogs are... By the time you're seeing this, they're already up. In fact, I think Friday... The Friday one's going up today sometime. Uh, I'm almost done editing all the Hellheart videos and I'm almost done with this one fanfiction series so I can finally finish the one I've been working on for over two years. I'm slightly stressed. Not as much as last time, but I'm slightly stressed. I have a guitar video to film that I tried filming when I, after I filmed uh, episode vlog number two, with book writing number two, but the guitar wasn't even really in shot <laughs> so I had to scrap that so I still have to film that and I'm trying to learn like two or three other songs at the same time Com when I say two or three other songs I mean like they're like very short songs like I'm trying to learn just one part of Bad Guy by Billie Eilish from my Instagram and I'm trying to learn the me theme the me channel theme because that's a meme the me channel theme is a meme okay is that alliteration is that what that is probably not I don't know and I've also kind of, I sat, got the vid, and I still, ha I'm trying ugh, to get my words out right. I'm trying to finish A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass because I love her books, because I finished the entire Through the Glass series this year. Um, but I've been trying to finish this book since like July, August, and I haven't been able to because I haven't felt like reading. So I might tr see, try and just take some time today to just read a bit, maybe stop staring at a screen so fucking much, because that's probably not helping my headaches at all. But of course, in this day and age, everything you do is done on a screen, whether it's for fun, or for work, or for school. I have done zero work on either of my books. My main focus has been finishing this fanfiction series. I might try, cause I need to, to start reworking the outline that I kind of half started when I first got this idea because it's got element the outline has elements that are no longer part of the story like there's a pregnancy thing that was in the original story that I decided to take out so that has to be slowly redone when I think about I think about how many words, the general word count for a book is usually like 50,000, 80,000, give or take, minimum. And I can't help but wonder, it, do I have enough of a story to flesh everything out and hit at least 50,000? Because fanfiction series I can hit 50,000, that's, that's, 
that's pretty easy once I get going because it doesn't seem like a lot of it. Writing a book seems like so much more. But I'm also trying not to think about word count because that's kind of low-key discouraging me. And I don't want to do that to myself. I don't know, there's a lot of confusion going on with both books on both ends. Both books on, bo on both ends. Clearly, I can word well today. Clearly, I am saving all my uh, English skills for writing and not speaking. Which is weird since, you know, I'm filming a video, but, you know, what you, what you, gonna, what you gonna do, right? What you gonna do? I know I just filmed a clip for book writing, but I just wanted to let you know that right after that clip I filmed the guitar video that I screwed up uh, angle-wise last time. So I can finally scratch that off my list and move on. Thank God. This is the content you signed up for. I start school in two weeks. I'm pretty sure I keep repeating myself at this point, but yes. Kind of panicking, kind of freaked out. It's just after uh, nine in the damn morning. Today's November thirteenth. So last Monday. <laughs> I feel like I should explain that this blurry thing isn't the camera or anything, and where it's not like YouTube or whatever. It is. See on the treadmill. I, I this, little, this little tray type thing. I don't know if that's what it's meant to be used for. I would imagine so, but it's what I set my phone on. Cause usually I'll watch like beauty videos on YouTube while I'm walking on the treadmill or something. So I just set my phone down like this, cause it works, right? I'm so hyper aware of my hair right now because I need to get it trimmed. That's a different topic though. So last week. Uh, my dad had surgery, and this week he's been go he's been going back into work. So what that means? Hello. So what that means is my mom and I have been taking him because he's not really supposed to be driving. So that means uh, getting up at let's see, before the surgery it was before six a.m. Now it's just before 7 is usually when we leave, so my mom will come in my room and wake me up, and then I'll get dressed, and then we'll go. And this week I've been trying to stay up, because my classes start at 8.30, and the school, while it's in the town I live in, it's on the other side of town, by the mall, and even though that mall's business isn't doing too good, and hasn't been for a couple years now, uh, traffic's still a bitch. Once school starts, I probably won't be going with them to take him to work anymore. I'll probably be staying here so I can still walk on the treadmill and so I can also get ready. I, I don't think I'll be doing a full face of makeup at all. Probably just liner, mascara, my brows, highlighter, and lipstick. Probably. Yesterday, I started, uh, see I have a fan fiction series called First Impressions. It's based on, it's a, it's, a, it's a Pride and Prejudice thing. And, well, I started writing it and posting it over the summer. And I outlined it all first. Because I had just started uh, outlining my stories. I'd never outlined my stories before. I did for one, for a fake dating series before the Pride and Prejudice series. And when I was outlining the Pride and Prejudice series, I really went to tell on it. And I think that's where I fucked myself over. So I'm writing this series. I'm like, God, I don't even remember how many chapters there are. I think I've got planned like 15, give or take. And I, I don't even think I, I haven't even I haven't hit 10 chapters yet. I know that. And I lost all motivation to write it. So I started working on other stuff instead of forcing myself to work on this because I wanted to enjoy it because I love Pride and Prejudice and I haven't worked on it since before September maybe July or uh, maybe even August saying I worked on it in August is a pretty big stretch maybe July was probably the last time I worked on it but ye not yesterday <laughs> the day before yesterday uh, I started reworking the outline trying to get back into the flow of it, which, you know, is great for my sanity because 
So I think, I don't know if I've mentioned this before this time, but last time I talked to you, I mentioned that I had uh, signed up for a Secret Santa on Tumblr, and I got my assignments like a week or two ago, and I said I wasn't going to write a, f a, f a fanfic, <laughs> but I am, okay? And I don't know if my Secret Santa watches my YouTube channel, I highly, highly doubt it, but just to be safe, I'm not going to say what it's about or anything until it's time to post about it's time to post the stuff the story so not until December and you know me being me I have no self-control so this has turned into a series <laughs> because I sent them an ask anonymously on Tumblr being like so because I got some info from the host of the set of the Secret Santa but then, you know, I needed details because I didn't know what the fuck to write, what the fuck to do. Because they said they would like to receive a fanfic and or a playlist. And I'm like, okay. And I received characters and I'm like, okay, do you have a preference? Is there something you want me to do with the characters? So next thing I know, I'm writing a Christmas themed fake dating thing. I like how I said I wasn't going to talk about this fanfic, and I just said what the what the, what the general. Well, I guess it's not too much of a spoiler. It's just literally like the genre, the fake dating, a Christmas fake dating thing. It doesn't give too much away. Everyone knows how fake dating goes at this point, but I'm not telling you who the character is, so you don't know if you're my secret Santa, which I doubt. But if you are, hi. I mean, I'm your secret Santa, but you're my secret Santa. Well, I guess you could be my secret Santa. I've learned when it comes to outlines, don't go too detailed with outlines. Be more general with outlines. So, I generally outline eight chapters, and I'm working on the fourth one right now. So that's good. And that series I've been working on for like two years, I did a chapter uh, just before uh, I started writing the Secret Santa one. So I was outlining the Secret Santa one at the same time as I was working on uh, the chapter for the series I've been working on, and I've cued it. Because, <laughs> like, the fandom is for the originals, and, like, that fandom is pretty much dead. Though someone, I did, I do have a lot of notifications on my Tumblr right now, because so there's someone going through and liking all the chap, all the all the chapters in the story, which I appreciate. And my cue's getting low too. I'm trying to keep it above 100. I think I'm like 70, maybe 60 some. Once, like, once my cue goes below 100, I change it from two posts a day to one post a day. And I'm trying to fill it up with calligraphy and writing. I've been doing that as well. But I'm starting to run out of quotes for calligraphy too. I kind of look like a root. Oh. Hang on, I want to do that again. Ow! I want to do that again. Oh, I kind of look like a, I kind of looked like a rooster. Uh, and I've been filming a makeup look every day as well, which I'm very proud of. I should be filming on the weekends as well when I get ready, but I just can't be bothered to set it up. So I'll just, I'll just like do the makeup and take a picture for my Instagram and call it a fucking day, which is fine. I think it was the weekend before my dad's surgery, I went to Joanne's Crafts and got the rest of the fabric I need for Christmas presents for my family. So I've been trying to work on them as well, which is another reason that I forced myself, aside from the very important reason of getting my body used to getting up earlier than 10 a.m. Not 10 a.m., 9 a.m. That's another reason I'm getting up early, so I have time to sew a decent amount, write, film, Etc. Etc. I don't know if any of my family members watch my YouTube channel. I don't necessarily talk about it, but I don't like hide it either. So I have no idea. If you do, hi. Uh, so I'm not gonna really go into detail as to what I'm sewing, but I'm just making stuff for the adults and for the kids. So next Friday, my mom and my grandma and I had a hair appointment together. But that got changed to this Friday. Our stylist called my mom and was like, Can we do it this can you do it this Friday? And mom was like, sure. So it's this Friday. And I've been thinking about changing my hair up again. 
uh, not color. Color I do myself at home. I guess get it at the salon. I don't get it colored at the salon because that shit's expensive. And I've been thinking about getting the shorter side done a lot shorter. Maybe trimming this side down to like below my, just below my ears maybe? I'm hoping to get chapter, f the fourth chapter of that Secret Santa thing done. I'm hoping to be almost done with the series by this time next week, if not completely done. And I mean like, you know, just the bare bones writing. I'm not talking about like editing it and scheduling it and shit. Just writing. That's my main focus, getting it down. I say paper, but I'm not really writing on actual paper. Oh, I feel like I should mention, I've kind of put both books that I was working on off to the side for now. Because I gotta line up my priorities, you know? And I'm just, I'm re honest to God, not feeling either the fake dating book I was working on or... Oh my God, I don't even remember the plot of the second book that I love so much. Lovers to exes to kind of friends to lovers thing. Something like that. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you want to see me walk on the treadmill some more. Let me know if you don't. But this is really the only time I've been able to remember to vlog at all clearly. I mean, hello. Hi. Make sure you check me out on my Instagram, Tumblr, and Twitter. I am most active on my Instagram and my Tumblr. I also have a Facebook page dedicated to all my cosplay adventures. And if you didn't know, I have a separate Instagram and a separate YouTube channel. Both go by PSC Makeup Artistry. Facebook page also of the same name. That's where I'll be post that's where I'm posting all my makeup looks that I keep talking about on here that I'm filming and if you're wondering, hey, where the fuck are they? That's where they're going. Right now I'm pre-filming to for stuff so like so stuff can still be like regularly scheduled and uploaded then. But while I'm in school, that's what I mean by then. Because that didn't make no freaking sense. But that makeup is going to be my career. So if you could uh, maybe give me a follow on over there, I would really appreciate it. You don't have to, obviously, but I would appreciate it if you're interested in that sort of thing. I hope Sapphire, and I'll see you in whatever the fuck I decide to put up next. Bye!